How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at a launcher for iOS. Yes, you heard that right. So let's get started. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jose and here we talk about digital minimalism. So if there's something that interests you, make sure to subscribe. So today we have the first launcher that works for iOS and that's very minimal. There is a new update on iOS that allows you to have widgets and to customize your icons. There is a lot of things that have been done on the web for iOS as it is getting better and better and finally allowing some extra customization. Those of us on Android know how this feels, but now iOS gets to taste a little bit. The phone app is called Ant, so antiphone.app. So you will go to the website and sign up in there before you actually are able to test it on your smartphone. You also have to download Test Flight, which is for beta apps on the App Store. So this is not available on the App Store right away. You have to sign up with your email, you have to get the app, and then after that, you get to set it up. But essentially the app afterwards acts as a launcher. You're able to eliminate everything from the home screen, put everything on the app library. And then you have a pretty nice screen just with your five apps that you use the most. Not all apps are available on the app, but most of them are. And you are able to select five of your favorite apps. I selected Spotify settings, Safari and messages. I think this is a good method for digital minimalists, especially because you're able to delete most of the apps, keep your iPhone and just keep it decluttered and have just functionality, opening it up quickly and it looks really nice. I also have a wallpaper in the description below. Essentially it's a black screen, but a specific color of black that allows you to hide the full screen just in case that you need to do that. Because if you just put it black with the current just dark mode on iOS, it will look a little bit wonky. So make sure to do that. There's a couple of extra things that you can do on the uh, app itself. You can custom the colors, you can use transparent mode if you want to use a specific picture and there's more updates coming along. So make sure to stay tuned for those in the development section of this app. You can refresh the widgets, get backgrounds, light, dark, whatever it is. But again, it only allows you to open five apps and this is what makes it a little bit of a digital minimalist. Finally, a launcher. There's other options in iOS, but this one is the only one that is focused on digital minimalism. Actually, the creator acknowledged that is based on the Light Phone 2. So I'm kind of excited that, you know, it looks pretty much the same as the Light Phone and it allows you to have that nice, very simple background if that's what you want to use. Make sure to check the links in the description below. I think it's very nifty and very useful. It opens the apps pretty quickly. You don't have a lot of difficulties so again if you're on ios and you're waiting for to get a transition device or you're looking into dumb phones but you don't want to give up ios yet well this is an option for it to look a little bit better and to have a little bit of a digital minimalist feel look and feel on your phone thanks for watching the video and if you have any questions or anything please let me know have a great day